Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about Control Hub. Now, this time the customer portal. So the customer landing page is when you log in, you usually see a Control Hub, pretty similar to what partner will see if they go into a particular customer. You'll see services, management, where you can manage your platform. The services that you can access, such as WebEx Calling or WebEx Contact Center can be managed from the partner uh, customer portal. Now this is, of course, customer organizations when you log in with the account. Now, remember in the previous video how I have created an email, uh, a new trial. So we have to set that up in order for this customer to, let's say, even log into this page. So let's go and provision that for a customer that we're about to do this right now. So what I will do, I will first go to that customer and we're going to set up the customer. So this is where provisioning for that client. So it gives me a summary of what the trial, the trial version will let me do and what are my uh, features, how many days I can try this out as a customer, so and so. So I can click on set up now. I can provide that location. Now this, again, remember what I said, that this is very important for a partner to set this properly. If partner mistakenly put this wrong information, then that customer will end up being in a data center that might be quite far from them. So we're gonna provide a data center called Toronto, located in Canada, time zone, Toronto, no, New York. Okay, Halifax, Montreal. Okay, so Montreal will be the closest <clears throat> location, 705 Progress Avenue, Scarborough, Ontario. Okay, now SIP address, how you want to call. So user are required to have a unique SIP address to call within the WebEx app. And this is an example. So what we're going to do, we're going to define a SIP address. So you can say SIP um, VBC pod three and WebEx will recommend whatever the pod. And of course you can configure domain pod and all this stuff later. We will show you uh, that part later. So right now we're gonna say VBC pod three dot calls dot WebEx dot com. So we will continue. Oh, language is required. Again, me and my English. All right. So this is where all the stuff. I'm gonna say send this information to my customer so that they can be, uh, start working on their portal. So that's it, submit and your trial will be ready in a moment. So once you get the access, you will log into your portal. So let's say from a calling perspective. So we'll come to that in a minute. So let, let me first log into the as a customer portal. So this is saying the new Cisco web gives you one place to manage, you know, you can schedule an update. Right now, we're not gonna do any of this stuff. I'm going to log in as the, I'm gonna see if I can log in as a customer. Now, All right, so now let's talk about the user management. From the customer portal, you can view users for that company. You can add users manually via bulk admin or directory synchronization such as Active Directory. And you can also edit the license for a given user. So all the users will be listed here, as I shown you in the previous lab. 
and you can simply click on the green icon here or here to start taking an actions. So you can add manual users individually or you can use a bulk file to achieve that. Now, if you have our Cisco WebEx calling video study kit, I have shown you in that how to use CSV file to upload a bulk number of users. Now, if you have an active directory integrations, you should see that uh, directory integration here. If you don't, you can click on turn on directory integration, follow the, uh, follow the steps and connect with your corporate active directory. You can acknowledge that adding a new user will trigger a welcome email. An email will be sent to the user, so it is important that their email address is valid. And if you don't have a valid email address, it will not be able to send an invite to the user to change their username, uh, so change their password and settings like that. So enter the user ID, email address. Once that is done, you're going to assign license to the new user, whether the user has contact center license or not, you have to specify that. There are three possible licenses, a standard agent, you can make them a premium agent or a supervisor, which is including the premium agent. So to do that, you go to the user, edit, go to the calling section of the user, and you'll see that the calling license as well as a contact center license. Now, not all where a control hub user will have the, uh, the contact center unless it is provisioned for your company. You can add a manually using a, a what do you call, uh, well, WebEx calling location shall be created prior to this step, of course, and you can add the extensions manually for each user. You can use a CSV file. As you can see, you can upload a text file. You can download the template to modify the file the way you, the WebEx expects and simply upload that. You have to make sure that user user ID is actually user with an email address as well. Otherwise, you will not be able to upload those users. The CSV file, once it's completed, you must import the CSV file into the control hub and follow the procedures. You can import or export. Now, user activation. Users uh, have to be activated by setting their password via the email that is sent by the control hub. So user will receive an email and has to activate that account first. Once activated, user will be shown in the tenant portal. Okay, so you simply receive an email like that. You click on activate, you just simply follow the instructions and you can change your password. And then of course, if you need to edit the users, you can always edit the users, go to the user profile, click on edit license for that particular user then go to contact center and select if you want them agent. Now, if, they use, if you want this user to be a, a premium agent, you select the premium license. If you want this user to be a supervisor, you select the supervisor role. You don't define the supervisor role from the contact center side, you do it from this particular page. All right, so you can um, enable customer tenant admin. So if, uh, if you have a user account who is an admin role, you can see that they are the contact center admin for that particular tenant. You can make that user an administrator, either organization admin, or you can make them a service admin or a functional administrator as we talked about in the previous uh, slide. You can verify the customer tenant admin by going through uh, full, uh, once the customer has a full admin in the, call, in the control hub, you can verify that you can assign license to assign to that users and you can verify that by going to the call center and see what their license what their privileges are all right so that's it for user management next i'll show you how to create your own users and various other uh, with various privileges